today. I, I try, it, it, it didn't really come out the way I wanted it. Oh, girl, you look like you lost weight. No, I didn't. I didn't lose no weight. I, did, I went on the scale to yesterday. Can we stop? Can we just accept the compliment? Just accept the compliment. Okay, and let's not, you know, just accept the compliment. And let's work on our mindset. Because I have women that, are, that, are, that come to me um, that I coach. And these are women who have degrees. They have bachelor's degrees. They have skills. But sometimes it's the mindset that have not, why they haven't gotten to where they want to go. So let's make sure that we change our mindset and begin to speak over our life, who we are and who we want to become, instead of, you know, listening to all the negative chatter. And so I want to really just leave this message with you is, one, speak blessings this Sunday. Please don't forget. Um, even if you feel like, you know what, maybe I may not remember tomorrow, think about it today. Speak blessings over your children. And you know what? His mother's... You know, sometimes they say, I don't know what he's doing with his. I told him not to do that. How about just speak the blessing over him? Just speak the blessing. Whether you agree with it or not, speak the blessing. Because if it's not right, he'll probably come back or she will come back and say, oh, maybe it didn't work. But speak the blessing over them. And second, let's be willing to, uh, I happened to connect, I happened to go to an event um, last month. And, and I happened to meet a, uh, a, a millionaire. She was having an event. And. One of the things that she taught, uh, what she taught in the event, she said that in order to become a millionaire or get to that level, you have to heal from past trauma and past hurt. You've got to heal from anything that's hurting you or holding you back because it's, it's making you stuck. And she was sharing, uh, she had sent an email the other day and she said she was sharing Happy Mother's Day to all the women, mothers, and she said she didn't have the best relationship with her mother. She was angry for a, many years. And so... I want to remind you, not everybody has the best relationship with their mother. So take time to either, if, if that's you or someone you know, share with them about forgiving them, forgiving that mother, and also maybe asking for forgiveness. Because when we do that, we now remove everything, blocks in the way, so we can move forward and we're able to heal. And so my last point is be willing to receive. Let's be willing to receive, ladies. I, um, you know, that came to me this year, like just be willing to receive. I had my sister who, you know, wanted to uh, get uh, get a property. She wanted to buy a house. She finally, you know, um, got did all the paperwork to finally get a house. And in the process of it, the house, you know, where she was living was a mess because she was getting ready to move. And she said, you know, she was getting all these gifts for the holidays. She's like, I wish people just give cards. And I said, would you stop? I said, stop. Receive. If you can receive the little things, you can receive the big things. And for example, and last month I had an event in, in New York called Woman Empower Thyself. And I had my a friend of mine who's a motivational speaker. He came to me, he said, Eb, I'm coming to your event. And I'm like, but it says woman in power. So I'm thinking, why are you coming? He's a, he's a man. Why, why are you coming to the event? And in my mind, I'm like, okay, how do I tell him this is, how do I break this in a nice way and tell him, it's, you know, it's only for women. And then something came to me and said, be willing to receive. So I said, called him back. I said, you know what? I, we would love for you to come. As a matter of fact, I want you to come and speak. So he came and he spoke, and it was great. We had other men there, and they was pouring into us, and we were pouring into them. And I was so happy that we got a chance to have men. You know, it wasn't just women talking. We had men talking and sharing their experience.